What's up ladies and gentlemen, Jimmading here with another Conan Exiles build video. I was on the Steam store the other day and I realised something crazy. I don't even have the Treasures of Turan pack, so I bought that straight away. That reminded me of a request from a viewer called Shadowed Ambition who had asked for a pyramid build for a small clan which definitely piqued my interest at the time as I'd never done a pyramid before. The finished product looks brilliant if I may be so bold and utilises a lot of the Turanian pieces I've been starved of using so far. As for Shadowed Ambition's request, this base is perfect for 3-4 to four players and on top of looking perfect in the desert, it's also a fully functioning base with all the crafting stations, thrall taming and altar needs a small clan could have. If you've got any ideas for a build you'd like to see me do, drop me a comment down below. If you enjoy this base tour, followed by a detailed floor plan and build guide, then also smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss if I do build your idea. I'll let you watch the tour clips now, but stay tuned for the guide after. Before the build instructions then, it's map location and floor plan time. We'll be building this pyramid right next to Muriel's Hope, aka Mitra's Giant Feet, in cell F7 on the Exiles map. This footprint is obviously pretty large with a 13 by 13 square outlined completely with arena stairs. It's mostly arena flooring but also some frontier wooden foundations in there for the wood parts. I'd recommend using fence foundations and ceiling tiles for this because this many foundations is likely to contribute to lag on lesser machines. You'll see here I've also sunken a couple areas down using the fence foundation lowering method. Uh, this just gives it a bit more detail. Start by slapping your Turanian gates down, then building the pyramid walls using the Turanian ramps and ceiling pieces. I could have just used the ramps, which are the stone pieces, they fit the purpose really well, but I feel the golden ceiling sections break it up a bit and make it look like the owners are really rich and just wanted to show off a bit. Once you've fully done the walls, I've used reinforced stone walls to fill the gaps around the gates as there aren't any walls to match the grey terranian ramps. I still think it looks pretty good though. 
You'll then want to support the final top corner pieces as these don't have any stability else. You don't have to use pillars or foundations like I have. For example, an arena arch placed on the walls leading off from the gates would also work and even give a bit more space inside, but I like the foundations as it broke up the interior into sections and rooms a bit more, instead of just being a giant open warehouse. Here I use storm glass door frames for entry into the two sides of a build. If you don't have these you can always just use terranian doors but I felt the shape of storm glass ones fitted the Arabian style a lot better. I then close the top up with the sandy arena ceiling tiles, leaving a hole in the middle for an elevator. I then finish the top off with reinforced stone walls and the terranian ramps and ceiling pieces. The cherry on top is a terranian rooftop piece which gives it a really nice little finish. I now start on the residential side of the building, the other side will be the crafting area. In here I have a central communal area, to the left will be a small cooking area and storage. To the right is a small servants quarters and a stairwell leading up to the master bedroom upstairs. There's a decent amount of space inside this pyramid and I feel I've used it quite well on this side. Something I know Shadowed Ambition was interested in seeing when he asked me to build it. These darker coloured walls and the ceiling tiles I've used are both terranium pieces. For the crafting area, I wall up the interior using arena pieces which look a bit more dirty and industrial than the other side. In the middle I'll snugly fit a wheel of pain and on either side will be one area for smelting and weapon smithing whilst the other side will have a tannery and armour building area. I now start to furnish the interior. 
I only filmed little snippets of this process as I don't want the video to be 20 minutes plus and if you wanted, you could furnish the interior completely differently to me. One thing in particular that I was proud of though is the shrine in the communal area that I built by placing candles and some coins from a mod at the base of a statue. This filled that spot really well. I was surprised by the lack of furniture pieces in the Terranium DLC but really loved the statues that I dotted around both inside and outside the build. And with that, the build was complete. Once again, if you've enjoyed this video as much as I did building it, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it gets me closer to a goal of 1000 subs. A massive thank you to all my current subscribers as the channel has just hit 500. This has been Jimmy Ding. happy playing guys.